I had to turn my serving pressure down quite a bit because we're getting some heavy foaming, so that's why it's pouring so slow, but it should be good. There we go. That new hose definitely makes a difference. Yeah. And I'll top mine off. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. I like the color. I think. Yeah. Gotta take that blue blocks off to. It's red like your beard. <laughs> that beard, beer. What do you think? It's definitely better. I mean, we were short on all the aroma hops. Yeah, so, true. Um, and you definitely, if you don't like rye, you probably wouldn't like this. You got that distinctive rye yeah. um, backbone, I guess. Not super balanced. <laughs> Not this super balanced. Like, a little much on the rye side. Maybe too much rye, a little better. I mean, it's not bad. I, I, I like this style. Yeah, it's definitely um, better. It's definitely better, which I like, but it's not balanced in terms of it's better with just better, just better with better. the rye. So, mm -hmm. but it's not. I mean, it was a good first run. I'll drink it. Yeah, I've made this. I've made this a lot, um, and I think that hop missing those hops really, sure. really um, affected the balance, which which it will. Um, but I, I really like rye beers, so to me, I would drink the heck out of this but if you don't like rye um it's not the recipe we made short on hops it's not really balanced at all what do you think Kyle? uh i like it um it's gotten a lot better over the what like the three weeks or so mm -hmm. it's been in the kegerator yeah. it was definitely um it was just it was all out of whack i think it, you know and a lot right of times we carp it initially. Yeah, and a lot of beers mellow it out a little bit. Do get better, you know, in a you know a couple of weeks. Um, IPAs drink mm. pretty well fresh, but yeah. a lot of beers, you know, if you leave them in the keg for two, three, four week, weeks, yeah. a lot of times they lose their green. Yeah, a lot of people call it like green beer. Right. Um, not the best beer ever made. Not the worst. I like it because uh, it's light. Like yeah. light in body, it doesn't have much body, which I like. I don't like really. I don't know. I don't like beers that have a ton of body. I like pretty light beers, and um, it's it's bitter, which I'm not a super fan of uh, bitter beers, but definitely bitter. Yeah, but uh, it's very it just. It would be. I think it would be a perfect. I really love, um, you know, hoppy rye beers, and it, it would be for me a perfect beer if it just. If we had the rest of those hops, yeah, even or even maybe dry hop it, yeah, it probably, oh, that that's probably, a great idea. That we should work do that. really yeah. well, or maybe even lower the bettering hops down yeah. a little bit, because um, it's definitely pretty, pretty better. What is dry hopping? You would add hops to. You can add them directly into the keg. Oh, like after, after it's already after after it's fermented. Okay. Or you can add them into the fermenter once it's done fermenting, and let them soak for gotcha. four or five days. And basically, you're extracting like the aroma and a lot of the oils without the bitterness. So you get gotcha. like big IPAs where it tastes like fruit juice and stuff like that. A lot of those are dry, dry hop pretty heavily. Oh, so. interesting. Yeah, if we had the the, the rest of those aroma hops. Yeah, it would be more balanced for sure. It's not terrible as is. I mean, I like it. I'll drink it. I'll drink it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's, I mean, and that's kind of the fun thing I like about home brewing. You know, I've made this a bunch. This is very different than the last couple times I've made it, but um, you know, it's not a bad thing, and we know why it's different, which is why taking notes is good. Yeah. New experience every time. Yes. What do you think, Rachel? This is not really your kind of beer. Not really my kind of beer. I don't like so much bitter. I'm more of like a floral, fruity person. Sweet beer. Yeah, I like sweet beer. I mean, I'll drink it, but it's not my first choice. Thus concludes the rye pale tasting. Final words, anybody? Be nice to me. <laughs> Come at me, bro.
<laughs> Just kidding. Love ya. See you later. High five.